Thank you so much for watching this. My name is Amber Howells. If you are watching and you have no idea who I am, um, I'm very excited to share with you today about Young Living Essential Oils and how they have blessed my family and how they can bless yours also. Um, again, my name is Amber. I am a wife. I am a mother. Uh, we have two beautiful children, two beautiful daughters. Um, I'm also a registered respiratory therapist and I am a leader with Young Living Essential Oils. My journey started about three years ago. I was really just searching for ways to get rid of toxins and chemicals out of my home. I wanted us to be a little bit healthier. I especially wanted um, to start my children off on the right foot health-wise. And so I thought that I was going to get essential oils in my home and we were going to make our own cleaning products. And I kind of thought that that was the extent of, of their use. But I had no idea how much of a blessing they would be for us and how many ways that we'd, we would use them and just how many testimonies we would have um, here three years later. So I'm excited that you've decided to watch this class. Again, thank you so much. Um, I'm extremely passionate about sharing my love for these oils and sharing how we've used them. And so that is what this class is about. It is an introduction to Young Living Essential Oils. Um, now would be a great time to grab a piece of paper and a pen so you can jot down some notes because I'm going to share a ton of information with you in this short time. Okay, so we'll jump right, we'll jump right to it. Um, the class today is going to help you start on your path to, to wellness, but it's really just the beginning of so much more. We teach a lot of classes. We have a lot of information that we can share with you. So again, this is, this is the intro. All right, so as you, um, as you know, I'm holding a piece of paper here. This serves two purposes. One, I have the tendency to be a little squirrely, and I can get off on a tangent on one subject, and we'll talk about that the whole time, and then um, my time will be up, and I will have realized that I've talked about nothing I was supposed to. So it helps keep me on track, but it's also a tool to show you that we have the resources should you ever want to share these oils with others we have tools and resources that you can use to help you do so all right so before we get started i do want to throw a little disclaimer out there um, while i am a medical professional i am not when it comes to essential oils so i cannot cure treat or diagnose anyone so we do ask that you you never ask for medical advice um, and we try our best not to to offer medical advice so Overdone with, nothing really else to say about that. So what are essential oils? Um, I never like to assume that people, everyone knows what essential oils are because I, several years ago, had no idea. I really thought that they were just something that people burned uh, or people used in their home to make their homes smell good. Um, I thought it was kind of a, the hippie thing to do, but oh my goodness, I had no idea what essential oils were and how much we would use them. So I'm going to share with you what they are. Uh, for me, I know that God placed everything that we need to thrive and survive on this earth. Um, that includes, you know, water and trees and animals and plants and, and whatnot. I feel like he placed everything on this earth for us to thrive and for us to survive. So that includes where essential oils come from, the trees, the plants, the shrubs. They come from flowers. They come from resins. They are inside all of those things. That is where essential oils come from. And we harvest them and we distill them and we bottle them up into these little bottles and uh, you get to have them in your home and you get to use them. The great thing about essential oils is that it acts as the protective mechanism for the plant or the tree or the shrub where it's coming from and it does the same thing in our bodies as it does in in nature so that's the wonderful thing about essential oils they are the plants natural defense and protective mechanism so all right we're going to talk about young living um, because this was huge for me um, when I started researching essential oils I just really had no idea what, um, you know, what company I wanted to use or where I wanted to get my essential oils from. Um, I know that you can see them, you find them in places like Walmart now and the dollar store and, and whatnot. So why, why Young Living? 
Um, I personally am an advocate for knowing my farmer. I'm the crazy crunchy mom who, you know, obsesses over what my children eat and I actually go and visit our farms where we get our food from and I just want to make sure that I know the quality that I'm getting and how the animals were raised and what, you know, and so forth. So it was really no different for me when I started searching for essential oils. I wanted the same thing. I wanted to know where our oils were coming from. So Young Living is the world's most trusted um, essential oil company. We are the world leader in essential oils and we're now a billion dollar company with over 3 million members in countries around the globe. We have 25 plus years of experience with essential oils and we're the only company that actually owns farms. So we own farms that we you know, uh, grow our plants or our trees or whatever it is that we're growing. We own those farms and that's huge because we know exactly what's happening to those plants. So we never use any pesticides or herbicides. Um, we have a seed to seal guarantee, meaning from the seed that is planted in the ground um, to, you know, growing the plant, people actually like hand pick weeds, you guys. They hand pick the weeds out in the farms um, to distilling them and bottling them up into the bottle of essential oil. There's a seed to seal guarantee that there's nothing more, nothing less than what you are buying. So you're never going to have any additives or things such as that in your essential oil bottle, which unfortunately happens a lot of times in essential oils that are sold over a lot of counters. So um, that is a little bit about Young Living and why I chose Young Living and why I feel that it is extremely important. All right, so if you haven't started taking notes yet, now is the time to do that. We're gonna talk about the three ways that we use essential oils. So the first way is topically, the second is aromatically, and the third is internally as a dietary supplement. Now, before I get started on these, um, I do want to share with you that the FDA has some labeling rules that we follow um, for dietary supplements and cosmetics. So they prefer to see these as separate labels. I'm going to use peppermint as an example. So peppermint can be used on the skin, which we're going to talk about topically, and it can also be used um, by ingesting it, taking it as a dietary supplement. But the FDA says you cannot say on the same label that you can put it on your skin and that you can ingest it. So we have separate labels for oils that can be used both ways. So I'm going to hold up two real quick and show you. This is peppermint. Hopefully you can see that. This is peppermint vitality. It's got a white label. And then this is peppermint. Okay. It's the same oil in both bottles. But this one right here, we can talk about using on our skin because that's how it's labeled. And then the peppermint vitality, we can talk about ingesting and using as a dietary supplement because that's how it's labeled on the bottle. So it's just really important to remember um, that we a lot of times have a vitality oil, you know, in a certain oil that you're looking for. And we also have one with a regular label. And it's just a label that the FDA requires us to label and we want to stay compliant with that but they require that so we can label it how it can be used, okay? Hope that makes sense for you. All right, so let's talk about topically. Let's talk about using our oils on our skin. So we know that the our skin is our largest organ, right? So oils are rapidly absorbed into our body through our skin. We make creams with these oils. We apply them to certain areas on our skin. If we, you know, feel the need to, we make face creams with it. We use them for face washes. We, we do a lot. We place a lot of oils on our skin. We rub them on the bottom of our feet. Um, there's actually a VitaFlex chart that you can use um, um, to apply certain oils to the bottom of your feet if you wish. The bottom of each foot actually has over 2,000 pores in it. So when you apply your oils to the bottom of your feet, they're very rapidly absorbed that way. So a lot of times you'll hear us talk about applying oils to our feet, and that is why. But you can use these oils on your skin. You can also um, make Epsom salt baths, which I'm going to show you how to make. Um, just a lot of ways. You can use them on your skin, okay? The second way is aromatically. So this is through inhalation. I have my diffuser going here. You can see I've got some oils diffusing in there. So um, I love, we diffuse throughout our home daily. You can um, 
also just open up the bottle of the oil and smell it directly from the bottle. I do that a lot, especially with frankincense. And you can also do what we call tinting. So you can get like a pot of boiling water, remove it from the heat, and then drop your essential oils in the pot with the steaming water. Take a towel, put it over your head, and then create a tent-like effect where um, you're breathing in the vapors and you're breathing in the oils. This is amazing, um, you know, amazing support, especially for emotions. And if you really want to take a big, deep breath and just breathe in those oils and the steam. So that's ways that we use them aromatically. Why? Why do we care to inhale these oils? That's important. Um, I like to share a scary statistic with everyone, not to scare you, but just to help open up your eyes. Um, about 75% of American homes use synthetic air fresheners. I was one of them. I'll be the first to raise my hand. I loved candles. Um, I actually had a candle, I mean, a, a cabinet built in my house. It's actually a closet built just for my candles. Like That's how much I love candles. But the unfortunate thing is, is that a lot of those contain the number one cancer-causing chemical in America, and that's formaldehyde. And that is scary. That's what they embalm our bodies with. And I see no reason and no purpose to want to inhale that. And it just wreaks havoc on your body um, and your health. So when I learned that, I learned that the term fragrance can contain up to about 300 chemicals, but it's only required to be called or be labeled as fragrance. So think about things that you spray in your home. Think about things that you plug into your outlets to make your home smell good. Um, they're they can be very toxic and they can be very bad for your health. So we got rid of all of those and now we diffuse and use essential oils. We make room sprays with them. I've been able to replace all of my things that I, I love, you know, the smell of. I've been able to replace those and much, much more. So, um, all right. And then ingesting. Ingesting is the third way that we use essential oils. Again, when we talk about ingesting, we're going to talk about the ones with a vitality label on it. But there are many, many benefits to ingesting essential oils. And I always tell people, please remember everything that I'm talking about. I'm only talking about Young Living. I don't want anyone to go out to the dollar store and get a bottle of something, of you know, some random lavender essential oil, and then go home and ingest that. I don't know what's in there. Um, those That scares me. So I only ingest Young Living essential oils. Uh, but many ways that you can ingest them, you can actually put them in little veggie capsules. They make these clear capsules. You can get them from Amazon. Young Living has some. And you just open the capsule up. You put oils in there. Um, scoop up a little bit of coconut oil in one side. Put your oils in the other side. Put it back together, and you can ingest essential oils that way. You can also add them to your tea or to your water. Um, or you can also scoop up a little bit of honey and then drop your oils on the honey. That's how my husband prefers to take them as he drops whatever oils he wants or needs um, on a little bit of honey and ingests it that way. So you can ingest. Um, you can always refer to the label on your essential oil bottle as to whether or not you can ingest that. Okay, so let's talk about safety because I do think that before we get into the oil, safety is very, very important. So I want to make sure I cover a few of those for you. You can put these essential oils in every orifice in your body except for two places and it's usually not the two places that a lot of people um, think of it's actually your eyes and your ears did I, trick, did I shock some of you okay yes eyes and ears are the only two places that you cannot place essential oils if that happens don't worry um, it's just gonna burn it doesn't feel good it, it's very it stings and it burns um, I can tell you I've done it a thousand times I'll put oils on me or on my kids and then I forget and I rub my eye and it just burns so a couple of things you can do you can either blink your eyes like really fast like a hummingbird hummingbird's wings <laughs> which is what I do or you can grab something fatty like a carrier oil and we'll talk about those in just a second but you could grab coconut oil you could grab olive oil if you wanted to you could even take milk or butter anything fatty and help um, you know help rub that out you don't want to use water remember water and oils don't mix so it's never going to flush that essential oil out um, so you just would want to grab something fatty okay Let's see, uh, citrus oils. Citrus oils, like, so your lemon, your grapefruit, your lime, anything that comes from a fruit, they are considered photosensitive. So if you put those on your skin, which a lot of people do, 
make sure that you don't go outside and bake in the sun because it can increase your chances of getting a sunburn. Um, what I recommend is that you either put them where the sun doesn't shine or you can put them on at night. Like a lot of people like to put citrus oils on their face. Just put them on at nighttime so that way you sleep on them and then you can go out during the day. Um, speaking of citrus oils, you want to make sure if you're adding them to your beverages or food, whatnot, you do not want to add citrus oils to plastic or styrofoam. They help draw out petrochemicals and you don't want to um, consume those. So always make sure you just add them to a glass or a stainless steel container. I just have a glass water bottle that I got from Walmart, very inexpensive, and that's what I add my oils to when I'm, when I'm adding them to my beverages. Um, and let's see, carrier oils. Carrier oils are oils that we use to help carry our essential oils. Carrier oils are not, um, they're not essential oils. It's something that you most of the time would cook with. It's like a fatty oil. So carrier oil examples would be coconut oil, olive oil, there's avocado oil, there's a ton of those, hazelnut oil, um, there's a ton of carrier oils. But we use these to help dilute our essential oils if we need to. So I'm going to use um, children, for example. I always, always recommend diluting essential oils when you're applying to children because some of these oils may feel tingly or cool um, to the skin or warm to the skin. So we don't want to, their skin is so much more sensitive than ours, and so we never want to irritate their skin in any way. So I always use a carrier oil and dilute. By dilute, I mean I put a little bit of, I'm going to use coconut oil as an example, Put a little bit of coconut oil in my hand, drop a few drops of essential oils, and then apply them to my children. Um, a lot of adults do this also. A lot of adults, sometimes they'll put an oil, I'm going to use peppermint, for example. Sometimes people will put peppermint on their skin, and then they're like, ooh, that feels kind of tingly. You know, if it, if it bothers you, then just grab something fatty, such as a carrier oil, coconut oil, and just rub it on there to help take that tingling feeling away. Another reason we use carrier oils is to help carry the essential oil further. So let's use the back as an example. If you wanted to get a back rub with Panaway, it would take a lot of drops of essential oil to cover your entire back, right? So number one, you just gave yourself a very expensive back rub. And number two, you don't need that much. These, these oils are very powerful. Um, and they're very potent and strong. And so you don't need that many drops um, to serve its purpose. So just grab carrier oil, put it in your hand, then drop your one or two drops of pan away. And now you can spread that all over, all over the back. So we use them a lot of times to help cover a larger area, larger surface area. Um, when you are using carrier oils, it does not decrease the effectiveness of your essential oils. Your body's still going to get the full effects and full benefits from that. It's just, again, to help carry or to help take that cooling um, sensation out. All right, I think that's it for the safety. So now we're going to dive right into the oils. Um, so you have your basics in your kitchen, right? You've got your salt and your pepper and your butter. Uh, coconut oil is a basic in our, in our home, but everyone has their basics. So what Young Living did is they put together this amazing kit with all of the basics. These are the, <clears throat> excuse me, these are the oils that you're going to use on a daily basis or throughout the week. And they're the most used oils. And it's an amazing, amazing kit that they have, that they've put together. So it's called the Premium Starter Kit. It's how I got started and how most everyone um, that's on my team and all of my friends started also. So we're going to break it down for you. We're going to start with lavender. So lavender is one of the first oils that you get in your, in your starter kit. Um, it is so versatile. It's known as the Swiss Army Knife. It has thousands and thousands of uses. I tell people, I'm like, if you're not sure what oil to use, you can't go wrong with lavender. Trust me, you just can't go wrong with lavender. It's very calming, very relaxing. A lot of times we use it at nighttime. We'll put it in the diffuser. Um, we make pillow sprays with it and spray on the pillows, especially in our kids' rooms at nighttime. It's amazing for the skin. So we put it in um, we will put it in like coconut oil or whatever kind of cream base that you want to use and rub it on the skin. It's in my face wash. It's in my face serum. 
Um, lavender we use a lot, a lot in our home. My husband actually ingests lavender vitality in a little bit of honey um, whenever he, he feels the need to be able to take nice big deep breaths. Um, so we use, we use a lot of lavender. Okay, the next one is peppermint. Peppermint Vitality comes in your premium starter kit. Peppermint, oh, it's amazing for digestive support. Um, and it also is really wonderful for helping wake you up. So I love to diffuse peppermint in the mornings. I'll put it in my diffuser. Sometimes I'll even you know, put a drop underneath my nose to help wake me up and just kind of wake my brain up. Um, but then there's also times when I feel the need to ingest peppermint to make my tummy happy. And so I'll add a drop or two to some water or maybe some warm tea. Um, you know, you can use it that way. You can also make a little roll-on, which I'll show you how to make in just a little bit. Um, you can make a roll-on and roll it around your, your belly button or your kid's belly buttons if you want to. So it makes a, a good um, after-dinner mint also, peppermint does. All right. Let's see, Lemon Vitality. Lemon Vitality is one that I try to drink in my water daily. It's actually cold pressed from the rind of the fruit. So it is not from the pulpy, juicy inside. So you don't have to worry about messing up the enamel on your teeth or anything like that. But it is so high in antioxidants. Um, so I try to drink a drop or two in some water every single day. Um, Regular lemon is great as a little goo gone remover. You can help remove adhesive stuff like stickers. My girls, we have stickers everywhere. Um, so it's great for that. And it also makes a fantastic stain remover on your clothes. You can put a drop on their clothes and immediately throw it in the washing machine. And 99% of the time it takes our stains right out. So it works great for that. Um, also diffusing, it's just very uplifting. Um, it just makes you happy. It's like sunshine in a bottle is what I like to call it. But Lemon Vitality is also great to cook with. Um, you can make a ton of things with these oils to help flavor your food and then also get the benefits from it too. So very high in antioxidants. Good for our little immune systems. All right, let's see frankincense. Frankincense, oh, Frank. My husband tells me one day I might leave him for Frank. Not true, but I do love me some Frank is what I call him. Frankincense, it's a lot like lavender in the sense that it's very calming. This is my emotional go-to oil. It helps um, keep me happy, helps keep me from, you know, um, what's the word? I'm, well, I'll just be honest with you. It helps keep my husband alive. So sometimes when I feel like I'm going to strangle him, I just go straight to my bottle of frankincense and take a couple of sniffs of it and it helps calm me right down. I do love my husband, but I, sometimes I need some frankincense. Um, it just helps me tolerate things a lot better. Um, but it's also really, really great for your skin. So again, it's in my face, face wash. It's in my face serum. Um, we use a lot of frankincense in our home too. So that is frankincense. All right. Let's see. Copaiba. Copaiba. Let's see if I can get it out here. Copaiba Vitality is amazing for just keeping your body healthy. That's what we're all about, right? We're trying to stay above the wellness line. So this is a great daily wellness regimen. Add a drop to your water or warm tea in the mornings. Um, you could do it at nighttime if you wanted to. Um, but it's just really great for helping the body respond to irritation that you have in your body. So Copaiba is a great one for that. Regular Copaiba, again, the separate labels, you guys. Uh, Copaiba is also an enhancer, so I like to add it to other oils if I want to make them stronger. So say, for instance, I'm making a recipe and I'm adding some frankincense in there and I want to make that frankincense even stronger, you can add a few drops of Copaiba in there and it helps magnify the properties of whatever oils that you're mixing it with. So Copaiba, Copaiba is amazing at, at doing that. All right, Thieves. Thieves Vitality is our next one. I couldn't figure out where I put my lavender. Put him back over there. Okay, Thieves Vitality. We have an entire line of Thieves. We have Thieves Toothpaste. We have Thieves Mouthwash. We have a Thieves Household Cleaner, which is fantastic and cleans your entire house, literally, from the ceiling to the windows to the floors to the showers to the bathtubs to the kitchen, like everything. It's an all-purpose cleaner that cleans everything. It's fantastic. 
but you get Thieves Vitality in your premium starter kit. So Thieves Essential Oil Blend, it's one of our most popular ones, and it's inspired by the legend of four 15th uh, century thieves who were actually spice traders and they would cover themselves in these arom in the aromatic blend of these botanicals of these spices because since they were spice merchants and so they found that it helped support their immune system so that's what inspired this blend and of course they named it thieves after them um, but it contains rosemary and clove and cinnamon eucalyptus lemon. Um, it's just a really great blend. This is our go-to for the fall and the winter time. Uh, we will add it to, again, warm tea or we'll put it in those little veggie capsules and take when we feel like we need to support our immune system. Um, with the regular thieves, we also make immune, um, or not immune, uh, little roll-ons to put on the bottom of our feet. Um, and we like to put thieves and oregano in there and we'll just roll it on the bottom of our feet. A lot of times I'll do it on my children before they go to school and when they come home. We diffuse it a lot if we want to just help um, clean the air and purify the air. So we put the thieves in the diffuser to get the thieves vitality in your premium starter kit. So, all right. Our next one's Pan Away. Pan Away. Smells a lot like Bengay or Icy Hot to me. Panaway was the example that I used when talking about rubbing oils on your back. Um, it's fantastic for like after exercise, things such as that. I like to run, so sometimes my feet um, aren't feeling its best, and so I'll you know soak in the bathtub. I'll make an Epsom salt um, bath and put some Panaway in there, or just sit it in a bowl and soak my feet in there. It's great for that. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. It just kind of helps you feel relaxed and loose if that makes if that makes sense. A nice little post-workout blend is rubbing Panaway and lavender. Oh, there you go. Lavender on your on your muscles after working out. Yeah. All right. Purification. So purification has to be my absolute most used oil from this kit. I love, wish you could smell it from here. They need smell-a-vision or smell-a-video, I guess is what you would call it. But purification is in my homemade deodorant. We make an outdoor spray in the summertime. It's got citronella in there. So that's why we use it for our outdoor spray. But again, it's in my homemade deodorant. We use it in our laundry. It's just very, it has a very purifying smell, very clean. So I'll put it on the wool dryer balls. Um, for our laundry and put it in there so our clothes smell nice and fresh and clean when it comes out. You can make co carpet deodorizers with it. Just a ton of uses for purification. We use a lot of this also. Um, that's one that I never, ever, ever want to run out because, again, it's in my deodorant. That would be tragic if I ran out of purification. Maybe not for me, but for anyone around me it would be. All right, Dajaz Vitality. Dajai's Vitality, oh, Dajai's. This is your, your oil for digestive support. It makes my digestion, digestive system extremely happy. So sometimes if I go out to eat, I eat something that my body's not used to, I feel just ugh afterwards, your tummy's not happy with you, I'll put two drops of Dajai's under my tongue. Um, or if you have those little veggie capsules that I talked about, you can add them to that. Um, the regular Dajai's, you could make like a little roll on and roll it around your belly or roll it around your kid's belly button if you wanted to, um, to help. But gosh, Dajai's, again, digestive support. Many, many Americans need digestive support. So Dajai's, Dajai's for the tummies is what I like to say. It contains things like tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass. So think about all of those that you always hear about are great for your digestive system. That is a blend of, of that in Digi's. All right, RC. I had hopes to keep them all nice and neat for you in my little box, but that didn't happen. Okay. RC, oh man, RC contains three different eucalyptuses. It, oh, again, I wish you could smell this. It's just so um, fresh and it reminds me of the koalas going and seeing the koalas at the zoo. Totally, you know, just a little tip I want, you know, whatever. I just wanted to share with you. That's what it reminds me of. But you know how your grandparents or great-grandparents used to tell you to apply 
um, you know, some sort of rub to your feet and then put socks on and then go to sleep. So I like to do this with, R with RC. I like to mix coconut oil with a few drops of RC and rub it on the bottom of our feet and put your socks on and go to sleep. Uh, we also make a chest rub with it. Again, coconut oil with RC and a few others from this kit like frankincense and lemon um, and rub it on your chest. If you need to, um, love to diffuse RC. We diffuse this one at nighttime too. It just helps me, especially it helps me like take nice big deep breaths when I wake up in the morning. So RC is also great for um, post-workout and for my feet. You know, I was talking about I'm making Epsom salt foot soak. I put pan away and RC in there. So that's RC. Okay. Let's talk about the bonus oil that comes in the premium starter kit. So not only do you get these 10 oils, but there's more in your box. You also get a bonus oil called Stress Away. And the name really speaks for itself. It just helps melt my stress away, literally. Smells amazing. It's got vanilla and lime in there with a few other things. It smells like a margarita in a bottle. For anyone who knows what a margarita smells like, it smells great, okay? So what they do is they send you this little roller fitment in your kit. It's a, a stainless steel roller ball that you can put on the top of any essential oil bottle that you want to. But I will tell you that most people take that little clear reducer off right there and put this in. And then that way they can just have it in their purse or their handbag or their car or wherever. And they can just roll it right on their wrists or their neck or wherever they feel like they need it. So Stress Away is a pretty popular one for melting Stress Away. All right. So you get that. Uh, you also get two packets of Ningxia Red. This is a Wolfberry puree. Wolfberry is very similar to the goji berry. It's extremely high in antioxidants. It's like a super fruit um, drink and it's recommended that you only take one to two ounces a day. You can take more than that if you want to, but you can get the benefits from just taking one to two ounces a day. This is a two ounce packet. It actually comes in bottles that you can buy or you can buy these packets which are perfect for traveling. Um, my family drinks Ningxia Red. We have for many years now. My husband and I drink two ounces a day and then our girls drink one ounce a day. Um, love, love, love Ningxia Red. So they send you two samples in your starter kit so that way you can try them. I recommend as soon as you get your kit, throw them in the refrigerator and then the next morning tear these tops off and, and try it. It's a berry flavor, very good. Again, so good for your body. Again, extremely high in antioxidants. They send samples for you. Some of them are samples that are in the kit and some are not. So these, these are awesome. You can share those with your friends if you want to or hoard them for yourself. I don't judge. Um, and then you also get, let's see, you get 10, 10 of these little sample bottles come in your kit. These are perfect for not wanting to carry around 11 of your bottles with you in your purse because I'm telling you when you get these oils you're going to be using them and you're going to want them on you because there's just always situations arising where you're like ah, I need this oil I want to use this oil for this or whatnot. So if you don't want to carry around your big bottles with you you can put them in these little vials right here and just get little labels to put on the top and those are much easier to carry around with you. Or you have some friends that you know need the benefits of these oils also, just like you have, and you can share it with them. So you could put some drops of, say, Thieves in here, and they give you these little love it and share it cards, and you can just pop it right in there and share with them. Sharing is caring, friends. When you start using these oils and you see how much you're benefiting from them and how awesome they make you feel and so on and so forth, You'll want to share, okay? Sharing is caring. So we arm you with that if you want to do that. All right. Um, so out of curiosity, I'd love to know, you know, when I was going over these oils, if you thought to yourself, man, I could use that. I could use that in my life. Um, if you said that to just one, two, or three. These oils seriously have been such a blessing in our lives. I cannot begin to tell you how many things we have replaced how many things that we have made, how much money we have saved by making some of our own products. 
Um, with that being said, if you are not a DIYer, if you are not one who likes to make your own products, don't worry. Young Living has plenty of products that you don't have to make that are already made for you. You could just use these oils for you know other reasons. You don't necessarily have to make products with them. Um, but we, again, we have just saved so much money by making our own products and just completely gotten rid of toxins and chemicals out of our home, which makes me feel so much better as a mom and a parent and just wife in general. Um, we just feel so much better and we're thriving, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So um, the premium starter kit also comes with a free diffuser, which I think is amazing because every home needs a diffuser, okay? So you get these 10 oils, you get the bonus oil, you get all the stuff that I just showed you that was also in this kit, the Ningxia Red, the samples, and you get a free diffuser, friends, a free diffuser that comes with the premium starter kit. Um, so the diffuser is, you literally just pop the top off of it. There's a few different models that you can choose from. You pop the top off, you add water to the bottom, add whatever essential oils you want to in there, put the lid back on, turn it on, happy campers in the house, okay? Helps lift your mood, um, you know, helps take nice big deep breaths, clean the air, helps us relax at night. I mean, we have a diffuser in every home now. So you get a free one in the premium starter kit. So, all right. So all of that, it's valued at over $300, but the kit is reduced by about 50%. So you get all of this for $160. I have an amazing, amazing team. And so you not only get these oils, but you also get the support from me and from everyone else that's on my team. Um, so when you get these oils, you're not just like alone in a world all by yourself trying to figure out, you know, how to use them or where do you go to learn more about them. We're here for you. We're here to help you. And we, we love sharing recipes and things such as that on, on how we use them. There's a great program called Essential Rewards, and it is a loyalty program, and it is fantastic for when you start using these oils and you want more, you want different ones, because my goodness, in case you didn't notice, um, there's a lot of oils, and we use a lot of oils in our home. So for those who really use these oils and you start seeing the benefits, you're going to want to start using different ones. You're going to want to replace these whenever they're gone. Um, with that being said, they do last a long time because remember, you're only using one or two drops every time that you that you need something most of the time. But um, there's a, so anyways, back to Essential Rewards. It's a great loyalty program. So you make monthly purchases and you earn points back on those purchases that you make. And you, these points are like $3 that you get to use on products. So um, for the first three months that you're on the program, you actually earn 10% back of your, your purchase that you make. Um, come your fourth month, that's not very long, just your fourth month, you start earning 20% back of your purchases that you make. And then after two years, after you've been on the program for 25 months, you earn 25%. So those points add up very quickly, and what I do is I just let them build up, and then I just have a big, huge shopping spree and purchase all the things that my family, you know, a lot of the things that my family uses on a daily basis, like Ningxia Red. So that's the Essential Rewards Program. We'd love to share more information about that for you. Just kind of tuck that way, tuck that away in the back of your mind um, for when you start using these oils and you start seeing the benefits and you you need others or you you realize that you want to start using other um, oils too in your home. Um, so that is essential rewards. And then I just very quickly want to share with you how Young Living as a company has blessed me. Um, I told you guys that, you know, three years ago I was just looking to get rid of toxins, but I was also um, working holidays and working a lot of hours away from home and just not with my family as much as I wanted to be. And so when Young Living entered, my life. We used these oils for about six months and then I just couldn't help it anymore. I needed to share with others um, how wonderful they were and how much of a blessing they had been to us. And so I started telling my friends about it and Young Living started sending me these thank you checks for doing that. And it started out, it started helping to pay for my oils. So then I was like, okay, well, I get to order more oils every month and now they're paid for. And then it has just like snowballed into this passion of me sharing 
again, these oils and this lifestyle with others. And I've been able to cut my hours back at the hospital and I don't hardly have to work really much at all. And I get to do this. This is what I get to do now. So it has blessed us, you know, with wellness, uh, purpose, and abundance. That is Young Living's um, motto or theme is wellness, purpose, and abundance. And it has done all three for me. And I know that it can do that for you also. So if you ever, ever want more information on that or want help on how to share these oils with others, you please reach out to me. Please reach out to the person who shared this video with you. And we can definitely help you with that. So I, um, I'm so thankful that you took the time to listen about these oils. But before I go, I almost forgot. Before I go, I wanted to show you some of the supplies that we use just to make a few things. Um, so I won't keep you much longer. This right here is just a two ounce spray bottle. Um, you can get these very cheap on Amazon. There's websites that you can get them in bulk order. But these are how I make room spray. So you guys heard me talk about room sprays. This is how I make it. Two ounce bottle. This is how easy it is. Put a pinch of salt, pinch of salt, in the bottom of this. Drop whatever oils you want to in there. So for room sprays, I usually do about 10 to 13 drops. About 10 to 13 drops of whatever oil you want to. Fill it with distilled water, and that's it. That's how easy it is to make room spray. So that's how you can replace those nice little spray. I say nice, they're not nice because they're doing bad things to your health. Those sprays that you like to spray in your home or your car to make them smell good. You can replace those with making your own sprays, pillow sprays, you name it. Um, face wash, they make little foaming bottles that you can buy, again, from Amazon, other, other places. And you can make your own face wash with the oils. It's literally whatever oils you want. I use a little bit of Castile soap. It's just a very pure soap um, that you can get from many places. Um, and I put a little bit of Castile soap whatever oils I want to that are great for your skin. Frankincense is always one of them and lavender. And then you fill the rest with distilled water. And you've got a face wash that's going to last you probably two months, maybe even longer. Honestly, it might even be longer because one pump is all you need. So that's how easy it is to make face washes. You can make roll-ons. I talked about those a little bit in today's class. They make these empty roll-on bottles where you can create your own blends. You just put whatever oils you want to. The one we like to rub on our feet a lot of times in the fall and the winter is five drops of thieves, five drops of oregano essential oil, and then I fill the rest with any carrier oil. Like you could put olive oil if you wanted to. And put the roller ball on top, and then now I have a pre-made roller bottle that I just roll on the bottom of our feet when we feel like we need it. But you can make your own perfumes with this. Um, lots of reasons why we make, a lot of reasons why we make roll-ons. And then I also talked about taking Epsom salt baths. Um, you just get any kind of container, put about a cup of Epsom salt in here, and then drop, let's say, eight drops of Panaway. We're going to use that one as an example. Eight drops of Panaway in there, run you a nice warm bath, as hot as hot of water as you can stand, and then soak in it. Dump this whole thing in there and soak in it for about 20 minutes. And it's amazing. But that's how easy it is. I mean, it doesn't take long at all. We make our own hand soap, um, all of that. I mean, it's just amazing the things that you can replace and how you can very quickly and easily get rid of those toxins and chemicals out of your home. So I want to thank you again very much for listening, listening to me talk about these essential oils. I hope that you have learned something. Um, I hope that my passion has, has uh, you know, poured out of me and you see how much I love these oils and how much I really want them in every home. So please do not hesitate to reach out to me or reach out to whoever sent this video to you and they can help you get started. So you can go ahead and get this kit, get it in your home and go ahead and get started um, with this healthier lifestyle. Thank you so much and I hope you have a blessed day.